All right, now after weeks of campaigning, some pretty sharp and polarizing debates and targeted jibes. This is the truth for the French Republic. People across the country are lining up to their nearest polling stations to cast their vote to elect the next president of France. According to the Interior Ministry officials, they have said that the voter turnout till midday French time has been about 26.41%. And the number is higher than the 25.48% that was witnessed during the first round of voting that took place on the 10th of April. But it still falls short of the voter turnout that was witnessed back in 2017, when the voter turnout by midday had stood at about 28.23%. The both presidential candidates, Emmanuel Macron and Marie Le Pen, have cast their votes for the election, although Marie Le Pen was the one who cast a vote first. And voting will, of course, continue until 8 p.m. local time. And once voting stops at 8 p.m., it is only after that that the opinion polls and the exit polls will be put out. The 2022 polls have been termed as one of the most polarizing elections in the French country's history. The choice is between two leaders with some pretty starkly different ideologies. The incumbent president, Emmanuel Macron, describes himself as a bit of a centrist, and Marie Le Pen has been defined by her far-right politics. Macron topped the first round of voting. He's looking to secure a second consecutive term, something that hasn't happened in the last 20 years when way back in 2002, Jacques Chirac had managed to be re-elected as France's leader. Now, Macron's first term has been extremely turbulent, and Macron, France has seen many predictable and also some unpredictable crises. There was the Yellow West movement that was virtually a protest of his own making. He cut down pensions. is one of the first things that he did as a part of his presidency that sparked off widespread protests. And there's been the pandemic and, of course, the war that has unfolded in Ukraine in the last couple of months. On the other hand, the vote is more than a presidential bid for Marie Le Pen. She needs a victory for her political career. Because if she loses her third election, then her position as the chief of the national party will be at risk. Oui, pour moi c'était important, surtout je me suis réveillée à 8h du matin exprès pour ça, enfin pour pas avoir du monde. Euh, après, c'est vrai que les candidats, euh, c'est un peu mitigé, quoi. Moi, j'étais pas pour, mais je pense qu'il faut qu'on vienne voter justement pour que ça change, même si les deux candidats, c'est un peu. Euh, bon, moi, c'est pas, c'est pas mon choix principal du monde. Donc, euh all right, now to give us more insights in terms of what is expected to happen today in France, we're joined in by our correspondent, Rosie Burchard, who's been getting us all the updates from Paris. Now, Rosie, this, of course, is a very crucial election for the people of France. Emmanuel Macron is, of course, gunning to get elected again, something that has not happened in about 20 years, while Marie Le Pen is hoping to become the first president of the French Republic. Give us a sense of what it's been like since voting opened up early this morning in France. Well, I've been here at this polling station in central Paris since polls opened at 8 a.m. local time. The sun is shining. There are people coming to vote with their dogs. A very calm Sunday atmosphere, which perhaps belies just how crucial and important this election is. Those French people coming to this polling station and coming to polling stations all over the country are filling ballot boxes with votes that will decide the future of their country, who gets the keys to the Elysee Palace and who becomes the president of France for the next five years. Will it be the centrist Emmanuel Macron for a second term or his far right challenger Marine Le Pen? That is something we don't know yet. At 8 p.m. local time when polls close, we will get a first glimpse of who the French have chosen for their leader for the next five years. But until then, we can only go off of what polls have suggested over the last few days. And when campaigning 
closed on Friday. Those polls had Emmanuel Macron at about a 10 to 12 point lead, which would suggest, uh, some analysts suggest, then he's likely to win. However, it is certainly not beyond the bounds of possibility that Marine Le Pen surprises uh, with, a, with a higher vote than expected. So still all to play for as voting enters the next few hours until polls close at 8 o'clock local time. Absolutely indeed. And one of the things which a lot of people are going to be looking up very closely is the voter turnout. Uh, you know, at, at this point of time, uh, we know for a fact that the voter turnout till midday in France was about 25%. You know, how is voter turnout likely to have an impact on the final results today? You're quite right. This is something that both candidates will be watching very closely. How many people and what share of the voting eligible population come out to exercise that right to vote? And the people arriving here say it's important to exercise that right. That's what I've heard. But of course, not everybody feels the same way, either for political reasons or for practical reasons. Now, on the political side, both candidates for the presidency, Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron, have been spending the last two weeks courting the left vote. That's because because leftist candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon only narrowly missed out on this final round. In the first round, two weeks ago, he got around one in five votes altogether. So both candidates are then trying to pr convince some of his voters to instead vote for them. And now while Mélenchon, that leftist candidate, argued that his supporters should not give a single vote to Marine Le Pen. He did not explicitly endorse Emmanuel Macron and some polling suggests that around two-thirds of his supporters might either spoil their ballot or simply not turn up to vote at all and that's of course in protest saying they are not impressed by either candidate. And on the practical side it's the middle of the school holidays here in France and some people simply won't be around. There is no postal voting available for this election and this certainly in the last round which was two weeks ago the principal reason people didn't show up was simply that they were not available and not able to come. So voter turnout certainly one of the biggest questions still a big question mark moving forward and of course the bigger question overall who will be the winner when polls close later today absolutely indeed and also you know in, in terms of you spoke about uh, the number of supporters with John Luc Melichon you know the leftist candidate had many of his supporters are still undecided it's going to be very crucial to see as to which way they actually vote will they vote for Emmanuel Macron or not but on the far right side, Eric Zemmour, another important candidate in the first round, he's in fact come out and openly endorsed Marie Le Pen. Do we expect that his supporters will be backing Marie Le Pen today? It's quite likely that his supporters might back Marine Le Pen. They share more of their political ideology, certainly, than he shares with the incumbent, Emmanuel Macron. But, of course, that far-right vote is... There's a big question mark still moving forward. And Marine Le Pen has, through the presence of Eric Zemmour in that first round, been seen as by many as being able to present a more credi credible image, an image that seems more toward the centre than the far-right, by virtue of the fact that Eric Zemmour seemed even further right. Still, Emmanuel Macron has accused her of racism over some of her policies, which include, for example, proposing to ban Muslim women from wearing headscarves and also a radical clampdown on immigration overall. Marine Le Pen, for her part, has accused Emmanuel Macron of failing to manage this cost of living crisis, which is hitting the pockets of many French people as energy prices spike and many people struggle to pay their day-to-day -day bills. That is an audience she's targeting people who feel left behind and are struggling with the day-to-day -day life and the expenses, particularly linked to this most recent cost of living crisis and this huge spike in energy and fuel prices. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Rosie Burchard, for joining us from Paris and getting us all those insights. They will, of course, come back to you as voting progresses through the day. 8 p.m. this evening is when voting, of course, stops and pause that. You will have some exit polls or opinion polls, as they're called in France. They will, of course, be put out and we'll get to know as to who will be the next president of the French Republic. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.